a new Pokemon game, a new Kingdom Hearts game, and Uncharted DLC? Welcome to Press X. So it looks like Uncharted 4 is going to be getting single player DLC. It was revealed in an interview that uh, they're working on at least one piece of DLC for Uncharted 4. Uh, and this is very reminiscent of something that The Last of Us did. They had a meaty, very, very good story called Left Behind, which came with the PS4 version. If you picked up that, you probably already played it. But it was a very meaty DLC that was just a single player story. It told a different piece of somebody's story in the game already, and it was incredibly good. It was, dare I say, the best DLC I've ever played, minus something like buying characters for fighting games. Anyway, so Naughty Dog revealed that they're going to be doing single player DLC for Uncharted 4 as well, and that it'll be story based, etc. A lot of people freaked out about this, but Naughty Dog did so well with its last single player DLC, all of its games are so good, that I really trust them, I think this will be 100% worth it, and I hope that it focuses on somebody like Chloe, but it'll probably just be a playable section where you play as Nate's brother and kind of figure out what he's all about. I very much imagine this being some sort of prequel or some sort of parallel with the story that's going on. I don't think it'll take place after. I think Uncharted 4 will have a definitive ending to the Uncharted series. Super Mario Maker is getting kind of a weird video um, where Miyamoto answers questions that people have had, fan theories, things like that, from Mario games uh, over the past 30 years. One of the question examples is, is Mario 3 does it take place on a stage? And Miyamoto responds, yes. And then they ask questions like, who's Bowser Jr.'s mom? And things like that. So it's very interesting. You can check out the video if you want. It's a little cute Nintendo video that they always tend to do. Pokemon Go was announced, and this was actually, this blew up the, uh, I couldn't, um, I couldn't fathom the amount of sharing and everything this went did the rounds on Facebook and Twitter and things like that. But it's just a mobile Pokemon game. Uh, you can bring in your Pokemon game on the go. You can buy a little nerdy bracelet thing and walk around with that, or you can strap it to your keys or whatever you want to do. And it'll tell you when there's a Pokemon near, or things like that. So it's kind of like infusing real world and the Pokemon world and uh, your phone in this this bracelet help you keep track of where they are, what Pokemons you can get, and then you can train them and battle them and things like that. So it's what you'd expect from a Pokemon mobile game, basically. It's kind of like Street Pass meets Pokemon. So a lot of people are very excited for that. I personally am not a Pokemon fan, so it does nothing for me. But uh, to the millions of Pokemon fans out there, it, this is something for you to look into. So in some Persona news, because we all know I love Persona, not a Pokemon fan, but Persona does it for me. Uh, Persona's getting its own stage at TGS, which is next week. I believe it kicks off the 15th to the 18th, that could be wrong, but it's something like that. And uh, they're getting their own stage. So everybody assumes this means Persona 5, and I am right on board with thinking that. They also announced that they're having some sort of live concert with the music from Persona that's going to be performed and that Persona 5 will not be playable there. They're still holding on to this Persona 5 2015 uh, release date, so hopefully that's true. I think we'll 100% know the release date of Persona during this uh, hour stage event. I fingers crossed that it's 2015. I really want this. This would be a great December game. But uh, if it is 2016, because they still got to polish the game, that's fine too. Take your time. Make sure it's the best game it can be. But if it is ready to go for Japan and North America at the same time, that's incredible. Also, as I talked about Mighty no I also talk about Mighty Number no. 9 a lot, so here's a little sprinkle of Mighty Number no. 9 news. Um, if you backed Mighty Number no. 9, you were going to be getting somewhat of a demo or a trial or something like that. Um, I believe it's four levels, they're totally different from the beta, so if you backed in the beta tier, this is new levels, and they're basically complete, they have voice acting, they have cutscenes, they have everything. That's going live September 15th, uh, so if you are a backer, you should probably check uh, for a Steam code, because it's only on Steam, uh, to go get and play that game, because it's pretty awesome. Kingdom Hearts 2.9 sort of kind of got leaked. Uh, it was leaked almost 
It was leaked during E3, during a, uh, a report that came out of Square Enix's events that they were going to talk about, or items that they were going to talk about at E3, and Kingdom Hearts 2.9 was listed there, and then it was removed, and we never heard anything about it. Well, recently a LinkedIn profile came up that said they worked on Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 2.9. They said that they developed the game for 10 months, and they talked about Kingdom Hearts 3 a little bit, they talked about a Pixar world, uh, that they were in talks with Pixar to do something, so maybe there's a Toy Story world or all those worlds that I did in my Kingdom Hearts video, hopefully, because uh, I listed, or I rattled off a bunch of Pixar worlds that I would love, but also that, that it would have online play in Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm hoping this just means something like the Colosseum. There's like an online Colosseum mode, that would be really cool. Uh, even if it's like procedural something or another, or even if it's competitive, I don't care. As long as the main story stays a single player true to the original Kingdom Hearts story, then that's fine. If you want to do a high scores or something where, like, Bloodborne or Dark Souls that's more passive, where you're not actively engaging with other players, that's really cool. But I would appreciate it if they kept multiplayer out of the normal single player story for Kingdom Hearts, please. But we also learned a little bit about Kingdom Hearts 2.9. Not too much. They talked about having the uh, amusement rides that Kingdom Hearts 3 has in that. So that's a little strange. But there's tons of theories on what this is. It's for PS3 and PS4. That's about all we know. I personally think it's just a collection. I think it's Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, all six of those and Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance for the people that already have it on PS3 as a reason to pick it up. Then I also think it's going to come out on PS4 and have all of those games on PS4 as well as the Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, just as kind of a refresher for Kingdom Hearts 3. I also really hope it has some sort of cross-save feature, which I imagine it would because their Final Fantasy uh, remakes had that, so I imagine this would have it too but some sort of cross-save feature where I can bring my PS3 save over to my PS4, that way I can get the collection. But there's tons of theories about this. Some people think it's the Dream Drop Distance game, just that, redone in HD, and maybe it'll come with a demo similar to Final Fantasy XV's episode Do Sky, or uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero. Both of those were prequel stories that were canon and very important to each of their stories. At least XV seems to be, that's what they hype it up as. Um, and having something like this for Kingdom Hearts 3 would be awesome. I'd be 100% on board and I would 100% buy it. Uh, once again, people are kind of eh on it. They, Ground Zeroes, a lot of people complained about the length and everything, though I think it was fine. I'm personally a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, so if this is what that is, I will be there day one to buy this. So what do you think Kingdom Hearts 2.9 is? Do you think it's just a remake? Do you think it's all a collection? Do you think it's something entirely new? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Kevin McManus, and I'll speak with you next time.